Welcome to another episode of 4x4 Ventures. To wrap or not to wrap? In this instance, we're getting the Ford Ranger re-wrapped. We're in partnership with Ink Monkey and Avery Dennison. Their product that we're using to wrap on the Ford Ranger. And I just want to go through the process and show you guys what is involved from a wrapping point of view, from obviously removing all the accessories, putting them back on, having a chat with the guys at MTBA and giving you the information you need to make your next informed decision on a creative final wrap or whether it's a promotional tool. I'm trying to get a little bit of exposure out there. Guys, let me know what you think about this episode and the design and what your thoughts are with vinyl wrapping a vehicle. So when you're in the process of thinking about getting a vehicle wrapped, one of the most important things to remember is that there are fundamental steps that are needed to be taken when doing a vinyl wrap. First stage was um, with regards to the Ford Ranger was to get it up to MTBA where they stripped it down, took off all the accessories and the uh, so-called Raptor kit, cleaned off all the existing vinyls as there was an old existing 4x4 Ventures logo vinyl and then I basically drove it down to uh, Ink Monkey, signed off design, um, I approved it and one of the most difficult things when putting on a vinyl wrap is to keep it in segments. So in other words, it's not a full one piece vinyl wrap. It is pieces of, of vinyl that essentially end up molding to the vehicle. One of the interesting things that I noted when watching and viewing the whole process was that the position of logos and icons whilst done in 2D need to be projected onto a physical form of the vehicle. So things don't line up and that's where companies like Ink Monkey have the knowledge and uh, creative experience to go and customize your design to suit the vehicle which I found a seamless integration and it took a lot of pressure off of me the client. Remember that when wrapping your vehicle, whether it be for personal taste or a promotional piece, remember that quality of product and fitment from companies like Ink Monkey Design Factory are very important. So um, bear that in mind and just remember that it is a subjective thing and I get that and it's not for everyone, but there is a little bit of practicality to it. In this instance, I'm looking at preventing the undercover body paint from dust and scratches, although minimal, but with a vinyl wrap I get exposure and I protect that paint, which is a very important to me. Things I would like to say is a big thank you to both Anel and Marius. As you know, Ink Monkey Design Factory is a family owned and run company where both um, Marius and Anel have their various roles within. And to be honest, without them, this process I could see being quite a difficult one. They made it seamless, integrated, and made sure that at every stage of the process I was informed and was involved in, in, in what happens to the vinyl wrap when placed on the Ford Ranger. I didn't realize this, but a lot of the parts had to come off where they could then put the vinyl wrap underneath and then all the parts get added back to the to the Ford Ranger. So it was very interesting from that point of view and the speed with which these guys get that work done is amazing. As always guys, thank you very much for your patience. I know it's been a while since we did our last episode. Just to give you a little bit of a teaser, we are doing another episode where we take you up to Namibia. So we're gonna talk about the Ford Ranger 2.2 XL with the big tires, how it handles on the long journeys, and yeah, take you with us on a little bit of a fishing trip which you might enjoy. So stay tuned for that. That's coming in the next month or so. As always guys, thumbs up this video. Let me know your thoughts to wrap or not to wrap. And please, you know, add comments. Let me know what you think about the show. Go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It always helps. Share with friends and family. We do appreciate it and it uh, keeps us going. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Enjoy your next 4x4 Ventures. Cheers for now.